Now, I came across this problem the other day whilst uh, creating a couple of chocolatey packages and figured I'd give it a try and go ahead and share my results with you guys. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically create a PowerShell remote session from my server here across to my test server, which is another VM running at the same time. And all I'm going to do is go ahead and install a chocolatey package. So in this case, I'm going to use the SQL Server Express Edition from the regular chocolatey package repository. And then I'm just going to go ahead and start the install. And whilst it's installing, you're going to see the behavior that I picked up on the other now, day. Now, what I want to kind of explain here is the reason for the behavior. So what we have at the moment is my session logged into server A and server B with the remote session in this case running the installation and what that means in all intents and purposes is that my uh, exact network session isn't running on the remote machine in fact what it's running under effectively is uh, remote credentials so it's a kind of an impersonation but the full network service isn't there and what this means is that whenever a network uh, requirement is needed you're running into this whole double hop problem and the result is basically a failed installation in this instance and the reason for that failed installation is because the SQL Server in this case is trying to update a network component. It's trying to actually register the service account with the SPN and other parts. But rather than tell you that, and rather than state that, um, it's actually just going to fail. So there are several components to this, and there's all kinds of networking and stuff going on in the background. But the general reason for this is simply that it can't uh, do that update with a non full session so while it will work perfectly normally if I run chocolatey on this machine it will not work if I run it from a remote PowerShell connection uh, equally it will not run um, some other applications as well I, I run into this I think with Visual Studio as well for one particular example um, but there's very few examples of this kind of behavior out there and very few where it's actually a problem per se. So in this case, it's telling us that it was not able to delegate, we can't do this. Now, there's several ways to solve this. One of them is to go ahead and just simply um, run, if your environment lets you, a full session and using, um, I think it's SPP credentials so that you can just go ahead and effectively remotely log in as a full user uh, and that gets the kind of double hop issue out the way now in most cases I found generally that tends to be disabled on the network which kinds to, tends to be kind of a problem really all things considered and that presents you with the problem of how do you get around this issue now there are two ways around it obviously there's the first one I just mentioned where we can say okay we we try to get the credentials through PowerShell and if you're lucky you can fight with your domain security guys and say yes I really really need this please enable it the other option is actually a chocolatey feature so there's a chocolatey agent and what the chocolatey agent is designed for is a self-service type scenario so where you have desktops or workstations and people don't have their credentials to run as admin and do the installation so you're effectively setting up a proxy account and what we can do here is we can use that proxy account in this case a service running under the local system account to do the installation for us or if it's running under a domain account it really depends on how you set it up long story short that is then a full session running on the local machine and you're just triggering it using your remote credentials and that works perfectly fine now the caveat to that and the thing that kind of prevents me from immediately recommending it as the way in solution is that it's only available with chocolatey business so whilst it is a solution and probably the best solution it does come with a cost so other than that, I can't really tell you anything, then this is the behavior you have. These are kind of your two options that I'm aware of. Maybe there's a few more. If you, yes, then you know, feel free to write them in the comments. Um, or alternatively, you know, I know one of you is probably going to say, well, why well, use chocolatey at all then? Um, the answer is because it's a good tool, honestly. There it is. Uh, but 
feel free to fill in the comments with your other findings, alternative solutions, and as always, see you in the next one.